All right, we're back with another question for Ron. Ron, my question is, because many people in the area I am in are very poor and have never seen the wealth they are about to receive, how would you suggest introducing the RSS program so that they will not be overwhelmed and not want to work later? Okay, uh, you've got to keep in mind with the RSS program, once it started, once the beneficiary uh, becomes a, when the person becomes a beneficiary, that means that somebody has referred that individual and they use your ID number and your name and ID number. So, and that's your reference. And you just write that down as you register. And uh, and then, then it gives the credit to the person and gets the fifty dollars and the bonuses and all that sort of stuff. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Wait. Okay, what you brought up here is a major concern for a lot of people. You're going to give people money that they've never had before. There's two criteria that I wanted to to do with the uh, RSS program. I wanted it to be overwhelming, but not so overwhelming that it destroys your life. I want it to be overwhelming so that you will take advantage of it. In the program is set up in such a way that whoever created the RSS program, RSS program that you're in there has no bearing over you at all. Zippo. They have no influence. They just have to pay you. Just have to put it in their master account and it's paid to all of the people in that chain of beneficiaries. And they will never know who's in, because of the referral system will go all over the world and you have no control over it doesn't you know we're going to take certain precautions between one country and then and another you get down into the african countries where a hundred dollars is is a major week's worth of work twenty dollars a day is you know i don't know what it's like there except for they're very very poor and we don't want to overwhelm them to the point where they don't want to work anymore. We want to overwhelm them to the point where they say, you know, I can have a life with this. And then we give other things, put other things in there, in there as well with the employee, employee agreements. I used to use the word contracts, but I don't like contracts. Agreements is better because you agree to this and I agree to do this. Contract says we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And if you don't do it, then here are the remedies. And it's always punishment for not keeping up on the agree agreement. We're moving out of the cabal's way of dealing with commerce. We're going into agreements. A handshake. My word is my bond. Why would you need a contract if your word is your bond? You put all the things down and, and, and agree upon it, and everybody knows what the rules are and what they need to do, and you're going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and I don't need to go over and tell you how to do your stuff. That's That's your dominion, and this is mine, and I'm doing my part of the agreement. That's the way it's going to work out. <clears throat> so when we when we get into the RSS program, we want to be sure that people get employment agreements, employee agreements, so that they will continue working. Now, we do that from a different angle. We go into the employer and work out... Uh, it could be a small business, like a bakery or something like this, and we want to double his money so he'll stay in business because that's important. Or, or 
whatever you feel is necessary to pay him to keep him working and baking and providing his his uh, food for for society. And he has employees. Well, you pay those employees uh, a fairly large wage to stay with him and do the work. He's always in charge. So if somebody's screwing up and not getting along with somebody else, he can let them go. Uh, there's there's ways that this could work out really good. And, and the problem that you have is with certain individuals that probably won't be around because they're not part of the ascension process and are not in harmony with where we're going. They will be eliminated. When I say eliminated, they're God's children. He'll work out the best way he can for them to grow and mature and, and uh, infuse back into their soul the best way that's possible for them in a loving sort of way without letting them get in the way of other people. So let's just be understanding there. Do not hate people. Do not. It, it's hard not to hate, hate people who are killing our children. It's really hard. But that's judgment. And it's terrible judgment on you than it is more so on you than it is on them. Just do not judge. Do not let your hearts go there or your minds go there because it will always tear you down to the lowest component that you can imagine. And that's not what you want. Just don't judge people. Let them live their lives the way that they want to. They will, they're under God's control. They're under their soul's control. And everything that they do will work out one way or the other for them. They will have suffer the consequences of decisions that they make, be they good ones or bad decisions. So we don't have to be in control. Now, we're, the RSS program has been given to us by the Alliance. And for the life of me, I don't understand when people say, well, it's going to cause some problems because they're going to get money and they won't want to work. I call that the lotto mentality. I don't think that that's going to be the, the kinds of people who are going to stick around. I think they will take what we give them in the RSS program, and that includes the new um, funding accounts or um, holding holding account. accounts, holding accounts. Yeah, My brain fog there. Uh, the the holding accounts are set up in such a way that you, as the individual, will write down what you want to do with the money. Make it a goal. And then uh, once you reach a goal, then change your goal and, and start working for something else. If that's if you if you're saving money for a car or a house down payment, use one of those for that. And and then or you can use two of them. If you're a husband and a wife, you can both have one. For a down payment on a home, that's a really good idea. You write down what you want to use the holding account for, and then you go ahead and implement it. 